Just visually looking at him, you'd think he'd be the one designed to carry the much bigger weights. Um, but obviously, he's a slightly more modest performer than a Kodiak attack. Uh, but in receipt of uh, over a stone in weight, there has uh, floored the market leader, or one of them anyway, uh, with uh, back in behind them. Uh, Red Stripes has run a, a pretty decent race there in defeat. Uh, we'll be back on over to Chepstow at 3.35. The next race on the service is up and coming from Doncaster, and it's due off at 3.15. We've been treated to some brilliant finishes there so far today. Now, the next race on the card is the most valuable there today. It is the Weatherby's Racing Bank £300,000 two-year-old stakes uh, to be run over six and a half furlongs. Now, there are some absentees here. We've got 20 runners, two that don't run, a numbers one at Byline and also number 12 at National League. Now, in the betting market, Harpocrates and Glass Vegas could well be of those most prominent. Harpocrates representing Aidan O'Brien and Ryan Moore, who went down very narrowly in at the previous race. There are three runners in this race for the uh, Michael Tabor, Derek Smith, John Magnier uh, operation. Aidan O'Brien trains the lot of them. Uh, we've also got a Nash, um, not National League, I beg your pardon, Glass Vegas, who represents Keith Dalgleish, David Egan on board, right down towards the bottom of the weights, but might just be suited by conditions. But it's a, a massively open affair here, as I say, 20 runners in total, and plenty of really likeable profiles among this huge field of juveniles. And we'll be back in plenty of time to bring you up together with all of the betting news and live commentary on the 3.15 race at Doncaster. Chepstow, three o'clock. First was number 13, Assey's Edge, at 11 to 2. Second, at number one, Kodiak Attack, at 8 to 1. And third was number eight, Red Stripes, at 11 to 2. And all 13 ran. So Rian Ingram, who was out of luck in the previous race, has gone and won this one on board at his edge, the bottom weight, getting the better of Kodiak Attack, who was at the top weight. And interesting looking at the two horses at his edge, just visually looking at him, you'd think he'd be the one designed to carry the much bigger weights. Um, but obviously he's a slightly more modest performer than a Kodiak Attack. Uh, but in receipt of uh, over a stone in weight, there has uh, floored the market leader, or one of them anyway, uh, with uh, back in behind them, uh, Red Stripes has run a, a pretty decent race there in defeat. Uh, we'll be back on over to Chepstow at 3.35. The next race on the service is up and coming from Doncaster, and it's due off at 3.15. We've been treated to some brilliant this finishes there so far today. Now, the next seconds. race on the card is seconds. the most valuable there today. It is the Weatherby's Racing Bank, £300,000 two-year-old stakes, uh, to be run over six and a half furlongs. Now, there are some absentees here. We've got 20 runners, two that don't run, a numbers one at Byline and also number 12 at National League. Now, in the betting market, Harpocrates and Glass Vegas could well be of those most prominent. Harpocrates representing Aidan O'Brien and Ryan Moore, who went down very narrowly in at the previous race. There are three runners in this race this for event the uh, Michael Tabor, Derek Smith, John Magnier uh, operation. Aidan O'Brien trains the lot of them. Uh, we've also got a Nash, um, not National League, I beg your pardon, Glass Vegas, who represents Keith Dalgleish, David Egan on board, right down towards the bottom of the weights, but might just be suited by conditions. But it's a, a massively open affair here, Ten as I say. Seconds. 20 runners in total, and plenty of really likeable profiles among this huge field of juveniles. And we'll be back in plenty of time to bring you up together with all of the betting news and live commentary on the 3.15 race at Doncaster. Yeah, welcome back. We've got this uh, wide open sales race then on the way next, and Harpocrates it is, who is the 4-1 to one favourite. Uh, Harpocrates for Aidan O'Brien, Ryan Moore. This is the one that uh, presumably he has uh, chosen to ride, coming out of store number nine. Uh, repartee at eleven to two in from seven to one. Let's take you through a few of these prices. Eight to one, unforgettable. Las Vegas, the same price. That one just easing out from sixes. Electrical Storm at twelve to one in from sixteens, with twelve to one Great Ambassador Manny Gordo at twelves, uh, Kings Lynn at twelves, Ray Yong at fourteens, uh, Toro Strike at twenty to one, Pistoletto twenty fives, and thirty three to one and upwards. The other runners, Harpocrates. Then it is who is favourite, Harpocrates who has been uh, racing in some slightly better quality races than this uh, and was uh, not beaten too far in the uh, Acom at York not too long ago. That race over seven furlongs, this is over six and a half, uh, but not expected to be a, um, a big 
um, negative that, given that they're likely to go a pretty good gallop here with a 20-runner field. Incidentally, the non-runners once again, numbers 1, Byline and 12, National League. Uh, repartee, though, being backed here, 5-1 to one in from 7-1. to one. Uh, Repartee for the Kevin Ryan yard, Andrea Atzini uh, is the man on board. And Repartee uh, was beaten four lengths in the gym crack at York last time out, uh, up half a furlong. Uh, York's done well for him this year. He's uh, already won a race there as well. He's only having his fourth race course outing, so he needs to be uh, respected for sure. Unforgettable at 8-1 to one is next in the market. Unforgettable for the team of Joseph O'Brien. Frankie Dottori taking the ride. Has had only the three starts so far and uh, has won a race, uh, scored a ferry house over six furlongs a uh, second time up and then was second in a group three uh, last time out. But um, she takes on the boys here. Uh, she was up against Phillies only in that group three. So uh, slightly uh, more challenging assignment, you'd imagine, here for all that she's down in grade officially. Uh, Glass Vegas then at eight to one for Keith Dalgleish. David Egan taking the ride. I think Glass Vegas has got uh, a good chance. Third in the Windsor Castle Stakes at Royal Ascot. Um, that definitely would make him a player. Um, and the way that he's been running in his race races um, would suggest really that um, this step up to six and a half furlongs may well suit. Now we've got one of them just playing up at the start. It could be number two, Electrical Storm. Um, this is the Godolphin Hope. Danny Tudhope um, about to get the leg back up. He's uh, on the infrastructure of the starting stalls. Uh, but Electrical Storm has now gone in. Uh, D-Day is uh, out of line and just getting a little bit jittery as well. D-Day, one of the bigger priced runners here. And um, with these two-year-olds, of course, these big sales races, it can be quite an experience for them. There's a lot of other horses uh, in and around them. The stalls could well be rattling in the breeze. It does look a fairly uh, breezy afternoon on the town moor today as well. And it's uh, generally a race for... Inexperienced horses, okay, a few of them have had quite a few runs, particularly by the, the end of the season, which we are now getting towards, but uh, ultimately still a lot for these youngsters to uh, take in. But Harpocrates at 7-2 to two is strong in the betting market, with Repartee at 5-1, to one, Unforgettable at 8-1 to one with Glass Vegas, Electrical Storm at 12s, Great Ambassador at 12s, Kings Lynn at 12s, 14-1 to one, then Manny Gordo and Rayong. We're down to the final few. And Ray Ong about to slot forward in the colours of King Power Racing. Ben Curtis on board that one. And Glass Vegas heading in as well to an outside stall of stall number four. Soaring Star is out of line as well. Plenty of northern representatives, as you may imagine, here. All thrown together with some of the top southern stables and some big Irish ones as well. So a very, very interesting contest as the final few runners... Are about to head on in. Toro Strike for Richard Fahey going in. Tony Hamilton taking the ride on that one. Toro Strike, who's a 22 to 1 chance, but hasn't exactly been all that hot in the betting, has gone the other way. Unforgettable heading forward. She's probably one with a big chance here for Joseph O'Brien. Frankie Dottori on board. 15 to 2 is the price. And uh, Man Nigordo is going to be one of those to complete the lineup. Let's go back to Doncaster and join John Hunt. Alex, always great fun these races, aren't they? Manny Gordo, the next one to go in, and there's not many more. Out the back is Skontanovsky. Stall 19. Here now is Pistoletto, drawn low, stall 2. Repartee waiting to go as well. Repartee...